Okay, we are here at the house of Michael Frawley and Rachel Frawley, Carrie Frawley, and Beanie, Beanie Frawley, Nigel Frawley. And this is an experiment. Michael is, is, he's catalyzing wood into charcoal. And this is the process that he uh, educated himself about online. And uh, so I'm just going to take a short video of Michael's setup. He's got a, a fire going, pretty good fire. It's a combination of charcoal and kindling. And in this can, Michael has a bunch of wood that is sealed. It's a paint can that's sealed at the top with a bunch of ventilation holes punched in the top. So how does this all work now, Michael? Well, uh, right now there's just some smoke coming out, but okay, from sooner or later, oh, that's actually hydrogen and oxygen escaping from the wood. Okay. Um, but sooner or later, uh, the smoke that is coming out now will ignite. Okay. And then that that right there would just be pure oxygen escaping from the can. And then as soon as it's done igniting, we block the holes in the top to okay. make sure that no other oxygen gets in. And then what's left behind is pure carbon. Pure carbon. So the yeah. so what do you do with the the chunks of carbon that at that point? The new well, it makes really great charcoal. Charcoal. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. So you have to keep once this is done burning off and and combusting, you cover it up so that the charcoal doesn't keep burning? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm trying to keep these flames going. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Michael's got some good good heat going on there, but it's trying to ignite the new kindling. These are new pieces he put around. The problem is that I think we need flame, too. Right, right. There is some good flame going. I think you're going to catch. I think what you just did, you got a good glow underneath going now. No, I'm trying to... This is kind of cool. I'm supposed to be installing doors, but this is way more fun. So, this is Mike Kai reporting from Strongsville. We're going to continue recording just a little bit here. And you see Michael's adding a little bit of charcoal to increase the heat. I'm kind of curious to see if the, uh, the seam on that can... Yeah, it was, it was. I want to see if that splits, but I don't think it will because you're vented on the top. <clears throat> oh, I'm looking over here right now. It's not, Is it okay? It's not bending or anything now. Because in the old days, they, this used to be soldered. The seam used to be soldered. Right. But I don't think no, it is. I think, I think it's, it's mechanically. Crimped, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think yeah. it's mechanically crimped. So, anyway, I thought I'd take a video. It feels like we're at Yankee Peddler Festival, mm -hmm. and. uh that's it. So we'll give you the uh, next video segment. Will be uh, after everything cools down and Michael has has, has catalyzed the wood and uh, show you the end result.